addiction coverage now. After seeing a spike in overdoses here on the Central Coast, doctors and police are sounding the alarm about dangerous street drugs, specifically many that are laced with deadly fentanyl. On the other side of the addiction equation, rehab programs are working hard to get people off drugs and out of jail. And many times the most persuasive voices come from those who have lived through it. I've just been caught up in uh, drugs basically for the last 43 years. Methamphetamine. I started using at the age of 15. I deserved every second I was in custody. Collectively, Kaylee, Tim, and Anthony have spent decades behind bars, in and out of jail because of drugs. And they're not alone. Many, if not most, of the people in the county jail are there because of drugs. Breaking the cycle is not easy. I truly believe that the community needs to have rehabilitation centers such as the bridge if they want to stop this uh, revolving door. That's the only way they're going to stop it. So how, how much rehabilitation is going on? Sometimes not a lot. Kaylee, Tim, and Anthony are all graduates of the Bridge Program, founded by this man, Mike Casey. A former heroin addict, Mike routinely goes inside, trying to convince inmates to take a different path on the outside. So it is really important to find somewhere that you can be safe, be surrounded by people that are um, sober and that are going to encourage you um, when you feel <laughs> like going back. For Kaylee, Tim, and Anthony, Mike's efforts in jail did lead to successful rehab. Kaylee is now working at the program's Second Chance thrift store and is back at school studying for her psychology degree. Anthony and Tim are now running a new bridge program in Napa. All three say their road to recovery started in jail in a room just like this one. I'm just looking forward to actually helping those who are going down the same path I am to either stop that or if they have gone down that same path, to help them get back on their feet and get back to their families. To continue and try to help others that are struggling with addiction. I wake up every day with gratitude and put grace and hope in my heart and uh, just try to do the next right thing. And that's what I've been doing for the last year. So the idea here is to get addicts in jail to get to them before they are released and before they fall back into their old ways and hopefully keep them from a repeat stint in jail. So many of these addicts end up going back. The idea is to break the cycle. Bridge is a 12-month Christian-based residential program for men and women based in Pacific Grove. <laughs>